it's just such an awful loss that there's no words to really describe. Tearful mourners crowded into a Yonkers funeral home to remember one-year-old twins, Luna and Phoenix. The pair were left in a hot car to die one week ago in the Bronx in what appears at this point to be a horrible accident. Their father, Juan Rodriguez, thought he'd drop them off at daycare, but instead left them in the car while going to work. The 39-year-old is a social worker who served in the National Guard. Several soldiers attended the wake to show their support. In my heart, don't think that this was something that it was intentional, and we all have to realize that we are also busy, and to me it was a human, innocent mistake. Sometimes, unfortunately, it requires an incident like this to serve as a catalyst for action, and the time is now. The day of remembrance for the twins comes as Bronx Councilman Fernando Cabrera, who represents the area where the tragedy happened, unveiled a package of legislation. To remind the driver in a series of gentle tones that a baby is present in the vehicle. He wants to make child alert sensors that are already in some vehicles and some car seats standard across anyone passing through New York City, and to increase fines for tinted windows so people can see if there's a crisis unfolding inside a car. Cabrera furthermore wants to work with state lawmakers to make leaving a child in a car, even just to run a quick errand, completely illegal. This is the same discussion we had about seat belts mm -hmm. uh, decades ago when I was a child. Uh, it, 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 look, there's not a price that you could put up on a child. There is some federal legislation along the lines of what Cabrera wants to see happen locally. So in addition to this local action, Cabrera also wants the council to pass a resolu resolution that encourages Congress to take up that legislation. Live in Yonkers, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.